Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn Gay, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that's happening this month at iFixit. Here's what we've been up to. On our teardown table this month, we got a look inside the brand new OnePlus 2, and our friends at Creative Electron came back to help us out. The OnePlus 2 has a ton of futuristic features, including a new USB-C port, a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, and a 64-bit Snapdragon 810 processor with a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core CPU. But will it get a better repairable score than last year's model. To find out and see all our cool x-ray photos, check out the full teardown at ifixit.com. And if our teardown inspired you to purchase your own OnePlus 2, we decided to put those x-rays to good use and make a wallpaper of the inside of the OnePlus 2 for your OnePlus 2. You can find a link to a high-res version of the image in the description below. Set it as your wallpaper and voila, now you can view your OnePlus 2 with x-ray vision. We also got the new Sony A7R 2 for our teardown table and boy were our tools busy. The A7R 2 is Sony's second shot at their mirrorless flagship camera and this thing has no shortage of parts, including an electromagnet powered steady shot image stabilizer. If you want to see each and every one of those parts, head on over to ifixit.com for the complete teardown. In our store, we just added the Repair Business Toolkit, and it's my new favorite thing. Designed for the repair business professional, this giant bundle of tools gets you everything you need to get a repair business off the ground and comes with a steep discount over regular prices. So whether you have an established business, are starting something new, or just need the best tools for your electronic needs, this toolkit is for you. You can pick up one of your own at ifixit.com. Over at our blog, we have a heartwarming story of a grandson paying tribute to his grandfather and his love of tools. Lee John Phillips is an artist, and when his grandfather passed, Phillips bridges the art world with the tool world with what he's calling the Shed Project. He is going to draw every item in his grandfather's shed, a process that he said might take him up to five years, and is documenting the progress on his personal Instagram under the hashtag The Shed Project. There's also a great feature on Fairphone. If you don't know what Fairphone is, get to know them. They're building an ethical cell phone, ethically sourced, ethically produced, and incredibly repairable. Needless to say, we are in love with this concept. Check out both stories at ifixit.org. I have some awesome Fixer friends on Twitter, and they know just how much I love seeing what's going on in their workshop. Simon Lindgren is one of my Twitter friends, and he sent me a picture of his latest repair project on his iPhone 6 Plus. He writes, as I couldn't stand being without my iPhone for 10 days, I had to service it at home. Big thanks to Gwendolyn Gay. And my other friend, Alshamiri11, writes, at Gwendolyn Gay, just tonight I replaced my iPhone 5S battery using your video. Thanks. No thank you guys. Fixing the world one device at a time is the coolest thing since mullets. If you want to be featured on our next rundown or if you have a repair coming soon, send me a tweet and you might get a little surprise help from my fix it. We've had some pretty cool visitors in our office before, but no one quite as cool as Jessa Jones. This micro soldering expert and mom of four took some time out of her busy schedule to teach us a little bit about micro soldering. Board level repair is something we've never tackled before here at iFixit, and it's opened up a world of possibilities. We'll have a link to the playlist containing every video we have released this week in the description below, so make sure you take the time to look at some of these amazing repairs. And that's your August iFixit rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit and checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.